welcome to my room at the Grand Millennium in Auckland City. Hi travellers, I'm a very exhausted Anne's daughter. Oh my goodness, the amount of like bureaucratic rigmarole in getting into New Zealand is quite a lot. Like, it would just be so much faster. And take my temperature and we can just keep the line moving. I'm in the hotel, so this is me doing isolation now. Literally just walked in. And I'm just freaking shattered. Here's my view over a parking lot and then a construction site. Lovely. When you come in off the flight, um, if you haven't seen my previous video of the flight, you have no idea where you're going and they don't tell you until you've picked up your luggage, until you've gone through biosecurity. You're in the arrivals area and then the woman takes the blue arrivals card off you. It's like, okay, you're going to X hotel. And the bus is just outside waiting. And I just wanted to show you around before I mess it up. Because this is the first time in my life that I will actually unpack in a hotel. Usually I keep all my stuff in my bag, whatever bag I've brought with me, whether it's my carry-on or my big suitcase. Pose for an isolation. Nobody's coming in here for 14 days. So basically I've walked in, dumped my stuff like NZ1 and arrives in at like five o'clock in the morning. So they've given us breakfast and lunch. So this is what's provided. They give us these hotel, these towels, this towel set. And I guess we have to reuse it. I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, there's also a whole lot of paperwork that they've given us and I'm just like I can't even this is way too much also they gave me a sim card but of course you need to like sign up for it and I just have cash so that's gonna like great plan from ten dollars uh-huh uh, that's nice so, rubbish bags. so basically we have to take our rubbish out of it I think you just chuck it out the door a desk here so I can set up my laptop and in theory I'll be editing videos. Then I've got some more wine glasses and oh this is the cutlery so basically we have to like wash these ourselves. I don't know why they don't give us plastic ones but anyway which clearly just shows how lazy I am <laughs> or I've been living on Taliban and I'm used to eating plastic. Now why is this coffee open? Oh sugar and some tea that's nice yeah so we have to do our own dishes and then oh yeah so I've got a jug here so I can fill up the hot water bottle <laughs> that's my first thought and a fridge oh no with long life camping milk Ugh. then this little area and then the bed which is Yay, nice and big, but even, and even though it's a hotel, nobody's going to make it, so this is as good as it's ever going to look. <laughs> a tiny TV here. Oh, let me stand out the glare. At least the USB is handy, and the plug to the bed. Don't you hate it in hotels when that doesn't happen? So we get two laundries, I think I heard somebody saying. I bought because you can get on Taliban the small um, detergent so I'm actually just gonna hand wash some stuff because I actually need it I don't have enough clothes for that so you can see the time so this is actually correct so from when we landed at 5 to when I walked in and started that record before I unpack anything so it's taken over three hours to process me. It's not like the plane was busy as you saw if you saw the flight review. Everybody had a row to themselves, there were still empty rows and basically this is a really backhanded way of me saying it's really doing something right with the QR codes, it's all scanned in, you've entered all your information because I am literally standing there watching somebody butcher my name. This is not important right now and you're handwriting this. That means at some point somebody has to type this. This is so backward because I'm going to be here for two weeks. I'm definitely going to make a mess. Not so that I need an iron and they have a safe there as well. I think that's a hairdryer. Oh, and some slippers. And some hotel slippers. That's lovely. Oh, and a mirror. How the heck do I look after 12 hours 
plus an extra three hours of administrative stuff on a really empty flight. And onto the bathroom. Where's the light switch? Yes, there's no jolly light switch on the bathroom. That's really annoying. It's probably one of these. But it's not flipping labels, so I have no idea. Here is a bathroom light switch. But I'm so happy to have a bathtub. Oh my goodness, I love hotels that have bathtubs. It is the silliest thing I know. But it's just my apartments don't have bathtubs, so it feels like such a novelty. A shower, independent shower next to it, which is nice. Again, I'm not sure what happens with the like changing of the towels. Facial soap. A few little essentials. A good body wash. Nice. Now apparently you can drink the water out of the tap here. I don't know because I don't spend any time in Auckland if it's going to smell. <laughs> and then over here, oh, so they've literally just stocked us up so that, in, I guess in theory, all of that lasts the two weeks. Shower caps, vanity caps, and a toothbrush, that's lovely. So it's a really decent size bathroom. Here's the dishwasher, so I'm going to do my own dishes. And then antibacterial spray okay so i can clean up after myself i'm like i'm on the sixth floor this is day one of isolation and for me it's really no different i was mostly concerned about it being smaller because i get about 100 steps in a day living in kuwait so one of my first thoughts day one really gonna miss Taliban during this time you know so at this point i mean it's 8.30 in the morning. I don't know what's for dinner. All right, good luck if you're still coming into New Zealand. 